how to connect MailChimp to WordPress. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with connecting your MailChimp account to WordPress. So let's get into it. Now for this, you want to head on over to MailChimp. So just open up MailChimp over here and you want to log into your MailChimp account. If you don't have one already, it's very simple to get started on MailChimp. All you need is an email address and you can just sign up with your email address absolutely for free. Now, once you have created your MailChimp account, you want to head on over to WordPress. Now, in your WordPress dashboard, keep in mind that the MailChimp integration is usually integrated alongside WooCommerce. So I already have WooCommerce installed and usually WooCommerce is the primary way that people set up their e-com stores on WordPress. So usually with e-com stores, you want to integrate, you know, emails, newsletters, you know, abandoned cart mails and more. So we have our WooCommerce plugin already. Now, to be able to connect MailChimp to WordPress, we are going to be using their native plugins. Now, a lot of people don't even realize that MailChimp has its own plugin for WordPress. So for that plugin, just go on to your WordPress dashboard and then scroll to the bottom. And on the left, you have plugins. Click on add new plugin over here. And once you click on add new plugin, you want to go into the search bar on the right and then just search for MailChimp. Now, once you search for MailChimp, you will find two applications on the top. Now, these two are both legitimate, but there are some other applications like these ones. These are not the real MailChimp applications. So you want to go for this application over here, which says MailChimp for WooCommerce by MailChimp. So we're going to install that. And there's also an alternate application called MailChimp List Subscribe Form. Now you can use this particular plugin to add MailChimp signup form widgets to your WordPress site. I personally really like to use this as well. The reason for that is because I don't have to use any other pop-up form application and I can build all of my forms directly with MailChimp and have my data of my customers synced up to my MailChimp account. So download both of these applications and click on activate on both of these and then this will activate the application. So from here you want to add your MailChimp account to WooCommerce. So you're going to click on connect account and this will open up a new page over here where it's going to ask you to log in. So we are just going to log into our account over here like this and then you're going to click on allow over here. Now, once you have connected your account, you will see all of your basic information, the locale settings, the permission settings, and more. And then you're just going to click on next step. You can enter your street address like this, and then you are just going to proceed to the next step over here. Now, from here, you have your audience name. So this is going to be, let's say, you know, your basic audience name that has been saved. Then you have your audience defaults from name, your email sparkle uh, the subject and the language now for our default settings i don't want to send my emails out as aurora sparkles i want to send it from jane at aurora sparkles so i can do that instead and then we have the reminder message we have the sync settings auto subscriptions so in our sync settings we have our initial sync then we have ongoing sync and card tracking as well Let's say I only want to track cards for subscribed customers or if I want to track cards for all of my customers. Now, let's say I only want to track cards for subscribed customers and then we have our opt-in checkbox, we have our tags and product image sizes as well. Now, I'm going to click on start sync to be able to import all of my data from my WordPress to my MailChimp account. This can take a little bit of time depending on the amount of data that you have. And then once you have completed your connection, you can get started by just going into the MailChimp application over here. And then you can go into the next step, which is going to be actually opening up MailChimp. So you're going to head on over to your MailChimp dashboard, and then you can get started with sending your email, setting up your marketing campaigns, newsletters, and more. Now, before I get into building newsletters, I like to go into my uh, installed plugins on the left. 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to go into the second MailChimp tool, which is the basic MailChimp pop-up builder. So you're just going to go into that and then you have the API key for this and then you can just copy that and connect to your MailChimp account. You will see over here that you can go into your dashboard in your MailChimp account. So you're just going to go into your MailChimp home and you can go into your account over here. And once you go into your account, you can copy your APIs to be able to uh, send it over to your pop-ups and then you can start building with that as well. Now, for most of you guys, you are here for email marketing, which is usually the primary purpose of using MailChimp. And it's understandable that it can seem a bit too much to start with MailChimp, but it's a very simple setup once you get the hang of it. So you guys can see now we have connected our MailChimp account to our WordPress website. Now, once we have built this connection, we can actually get started with building our emails. So you guys can see it is now showing me WooCommerce connected Jane Doe. Now I can click on manage this app and you know find more about this app directly in my MailChimp dashboard as well. Now I'm going to click on create and click on email and I'll be using a template email. So I'll just click on get started over here and I can choose any template I want. I will just go with a simple email like this. And then I'm just going to make this my newsletter subscription. So I'm just going to add that. I can design my email. So thanks for subscribing to our newsletter. And you can, you know, customize the email however you want. And then you can add more. You can add a button text to, you know, a discount or a shop now page. I'm just going to save the template and exit. And then I'm going to use this email template in my campaign for my particular website. So from here, I can go into all campaigns on the top left and then I can click on create new and I can pick out a regular email. So we're going to go with the template and then we're going to click on get started over here for our campaign. And then we can take our saved templates. This is one of the templates that we just made. I'm just going to add that over here. Once we've done that, you will see a few different blocks you can keep on editing if you want to customize it for this particular campaign. So we can continue on over here and we can click on share. And then you can choose the automation journey if we want to do that. You can build an automation with your WooCommerce integration. So you can choose pre-built journeys as well as build from scratch. Now in your pre-built journeys, you have okay, I want to welcome my new contact. And when a customer signs up, I can click on over here. And then when a customer signs up to my WordPress website, so signs up to Jane Doe Inc. I can save this as my starting point. I can add another one as well. So when a customer signs up for an email, I can send them this particular mail and I can select which email I want to use. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to connect your MailChimp account to WordPress. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.